These are the stories. There is a foundation out there that helps to get back into it. Of organizations making a difference. What really limits our ability to do something is people's imagination. And empowering others across Canada. When I get into that sledge, I'm free, man. I'm playing hockey. It's a great organization and it's worth supporting. In our community. Night to Shine, Tim Tebow Foundation. My name is Lisa McPherson and I am a mother um, and my son Connor is attending the Night to Shine. Join us for a prom night that you will never forget. Walk the red carpet, enjoy the royal treatment and dance the night away. Woohoo! Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. My name is Connor McPherson, and I will attend Night to Shine. Everybody gets a crown. Every single person. Everyone are king and queen. <laughs> That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. <laughs> the Tim Tebow Foundation has a vision to provide an unforgettable prom night experience for people with special needs ages 14 and older, where all guests are kings and queens of the prom. The Foundation desires to change the narrative on how people with special needs are viewed. To help accomplish this goal, the Foundation has launched an annual event held simultaneously on one night around the world, Night to Shine. I'm excited for Connor because he, he loves to dance <laughs> and he likes to party. <laughs> he's, a, he's a social butterfly. And this year, things are a little different for him because he's got a little girlfriend now. And this just started in the summer. She's autistic as well, and she's a pretty little thing. And they're match made in heaven. I will invite Amber to Night to Shine by using Messenger or Facebook. Sophie, as you know. I'm 18. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my God, so excited to go there. Um, I love to dance. I want to go dance and, and to eat also. I love it. Sophie's mother, Francine Gallant, and father, Eric Arsenault, were able to attend last year's Night to Shine as observers which gave them an opportunity to see what happens at this special prom event. It, it, it brings a tear to your eye to, to see that, that people are prepared to, to give that amount of love to people that, you know, that's all they want, is to be part of society. They, they want to, because they've got a lot of love to give, and they just need to get it back too. That, it's, it's, from my perspective, that simple. Great strides have been made uh, for inclusion within the school system. So, you know, when I remember when I was uh, a young uh, person going to school, there, were n there was nobody with special needs in the school system, truly segregated. When you go to school and you see Sophie interact with others, uh, th there's a real sense of caring there, okay? There's th some degree of friendship. But part of the op obstacles are, you know, People are, are nice to Sophie, but it's very difficult to develop the real strong friendships that you typically go through when you're in the, in the high school environment. Uh, you know, it's a good thing they're nice to Sophie, but you know, she doesn't get invited to uh, a lot of the social gatherings that uh, uh, other kids uh, would partake in. I enjoy dance. And I love people to sing. Sophie loves music. Sophie loves to dance. And Sophie loves to have attention on her. She loves to be the, the, uh, the diva. She loves to, <laughs> she, she loves that attention. And Sophie does 
participate in horseback riding. Yes, she does do Special Olympics. Those are activities where she does that that are, um, you know, exercise, exercise driven, and uh, a lot of it is is maybe more coaching from us. We want her to be doing all sorts of activities, whereas this is very much for her about her uh, about her having fun in the things that she loves to do. To prepare someone for their uh, graduation and you know when, when, you, when you look at that that event in a person's life the graduation is the penultimate moment right you've done your your, your whole schooling uh, and you are now basically being declared an adult by society so it's a big deal it's a big deal for for every person people with special needs very often are not involved they're not part of that whole process okay not that they can't go it's just that there are a lot of, of uh, difficulties and challenges. There could be anxiety. There could be, uh, you know, a, a sense of, you know, maybe not really belonging. Uh, you know, so, so those are those are, are real challenges. Because I love to walk, and I love to dance. I love to dance a lot. This is an event for Sophie, about Sophie, uh, and uh, so she has to be the one involved in making the choices. For, for us, it's uh, it's the final preparations, uh, making sure that the, the dress that Sophie will choose uh, will be uh, the right one for her. This year for Night to Shine is uh, the purple and uh, all of the diamonds in there. After Sophie and her mother purchased her dress locally, they brought it to a seamstress for the alterations it needed. Now that all the adjustments have been completed, it's off to the shop of the seamstress in nearby Riverview to try it on and see how it looks. Oh, wow! Wow, Sophie! What do you think? Very cool. Yeah. So do you remember what you said when you tried that dress on at the store? Yeah. What did you say? Do you remember? When you saw yourself in the dress. Oh, this is the one. <laughs> say yes to the dress. <laughs> say yes. yes to the dress. <laughs> Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. Every single one of you, we are naming you the king or the queen of the prom. I had no idea that it it was, you know, through the Tim Tebow Foundation, and and so I was kind of impressed when I seen the video. So I was like, oh my goodness, my kids would love that. That would be right up their alley. So that's how I found out about it. The first time I got there, we got to get inside the uh, room like we were getting inside a movie studio, like I was a famous rich person. Dancing and... It was a prom night. Connor, I always found, was in no man's land. He didn't seem to fit in with the kids that were really disabled. And yet, he didn't fit in with the kids that were typical. So, he always used to say, Mom, why can't I do this with the guys on Friday night? Or why doesn't anybody ask me to do anything? Or why did God have to make me autistic and nobody likes me and I, I don't seem to fit in and I'm different. So for Connor, it was such a huge thing for him to go and be special and be part of something and every, you know, everybody gets a crown and, and for him it's like he, he, made him feel like just everybody else. So for him it was, you know, it's a special thing for him to feel like he belongs to something. Mom, she said yes. Oh, buddy, that's awesome. 
I am looking forward to bringing Amber Scott to Night to Shine. I'm pretty excited for him because to have a date makes him feel like he's even more, you know, like the king and queen. So yeah, he's pretty excited and and uh, they're cute together. So I'm, I'm anxious to get some pictures of them all dolled up. <laughs> My name is Jenny Baker and I am the coordinator for Night to Shine here in Moncton, New Brunswick. I found out about the event through a friend um, that attends the church and she just kind of uh, drew my attention to it and just said, have you ever seen or heard of this event? When I watched the video, I can't remember what year it was now, it might have been 2017 or something like that. I just thought, thought wow, what an amazing event, you know, like for uh, the church to be a part of. Nobody is doing it. Somebody in the city needs to start it, and hopefully, going forward, it will spread to other churches that are in the area, other churches in the province, across the country. Um, I have a brother who has special needs, and uh, so because of him, because of my love for him, there's a special place in my heart for people with special needs. And so it was something that I thought um, we could do, and we could do well if we put the time and energy into it, and we had people that were passionate about it. The Tim Tebow Foundation uh, provides grants, which has been a major blessing, especially because it's, been, it's in U.S. funds. But I think that the intention is for us to stand on our own eventually and to be able to, uh, you know, uh, support ourselves in that event. Last year, I can say it was the highlight of the year, but I would say the night was probably one of the highlights of my life. It really was. Um, and not just for me, I, I would think that just to hear the comments and uh, people were so overwhelmed uh, by the fact that we were loving their kids. <sighs> I'm so excited. Tonight's the night of the gala. Uh, I'm so happy and so proud to have both of my girls participate in the Night to Shine gala. Sophie will be attending and her sister Cariz is helping with her hair and her makeup. Right. So after I'm done your hair, yeah. you still want me to do a little bit of your makeup? Sure. Yeah? Do you like your hair all curly, Soph? Oh yeah. Yeah? Good. I think you're gonna look very beautiful. Alright? With your hair all curled up and your beautiful dress. Mom, can you please uh, help me with my bow tie? Absolutely. Wow, are you ever spiffy? Thank you. You look like a movie star. Or a billionaire. <laughs> that would be better. <laughs> yeah. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. With anticipation and excitement building, the Night to Shine prom is close to starting, and the volunteers are working hard on the final preparations. While a winter storm has settled in the region as the guests are dealing with their own final touches. A bit of bling to match the blingy dress. There. Okay, now let's go get in the car and go get Amber. Yeah. Hi, Amber. Hi. You ready? Yes. Last year, we had about 55 guests and um, maybe about 160 volunteers. We have at least 80 guests this year. And so I would think that where we go one-to-one -one ratio for buddies, then we'll need probably another 30 volunteers on top of that. So we may get close to 200. The guests arrive on their own. They come with parents mostly, or some of them may take the bus or some of them may drive themselves. But uh, they arrive in their own vehicles. They all come in the main entrance and uh, we do the registration process there and uh, assign their buddies. I'm Ellen. I'm your buddy tonight. I love your bow tie. Thanks. You've got so many colors. 
From there, they're uh, going to be um, brought into the gym area. And the gym, basically, for the first part of the night is just going to be a, an area where, uh, as we're waiting to receive all the, all the guests that are coming for the evening, there will be shoe shines, hair and makeup done there. They'll receive corsages and boutonnieres. We'll have a photo booth there where they can do some fun uh, shots and we'll put those pictures in a photo frame for them uh, while they're here on site so they get to take those home in the early evening. The red carpet event starts once all the guests have arrived. Each guest is introduced along with a fun fact as they walk the red carpet lined by an RCMP honor guard into the room containing paparazzi and lots of cheering. We got to get inside the uh, room like we were getting inside a movie studio, like I was a famous rich person. My name is Mario McNutt. I wrench the red carpet. I liked it when the room was clapping. Megan Kimberly Saber. I'm on the red carpet and my arms are is like, like this. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I see a lot of people cheering. It was a lot of cameras. <laughs> Will you please put your hands together for Sophie Arsenault, who loves to dance and sing. I'll tell you, there's not a dry eye. The parents that, like, the way they, they do it is you're looking down and you're seeing them come in on the red carpet. And the looks on their faces, they just feel like they're in Hollywood going down the red carpet. After the red carpet event, the guests will have a wonderful meal that's been prepared for them by the volunteers that accommodates each person's dietary specifications. And then it's off to the limo rides enjoyed by the guests like Neil Downey. My name is Neil. I love going in a limo because I felt like a celebrity. We had lots of laughs and great friends around us. David Feliciano Tata, and in Night to Shine, it was my first time there because it was ever since one area was with sparkling lights, and I never did know if it involved karaoke music. I took part in one of the karaoke musics, which was one of them was a big hit to everyone. The karaoke continues while many of the guests make their way to the dance floor. Um, we got to dance, and and we got to um do the train around the room. I love the dance. I like the dancing and the food, everything. I like to thank Jenny and the people that helped out with the. Uh, organizing the dance and they did a wonderful job and a big thank you to my mom for bringing me here too. What we want to do is we want to crown every single one of you as the king or the queen of the prom tonight. Are you ready? We expect that uh, Night to Shine will grow beyond the capacity of what our building can hold. Um, we were pretty close this year, actually, and uh, due to the storm, it kind of saved us a little bit. But um, so yeah, we will have to go somewhere that's a, a neutral location where uh, we can serve a, a greater number of people from the community. But um, they're just hoping that it's just going to be blown worldwide, where every country hosts Night to Shine. For anybody that's considering, can we do this? Yes, it's a bit of work, but it is so, so worth it.
I feel blessed that we are here where there's a community that's loving uh, and that is actually hosting that event and, and we're very, very fortunate uh, that our daughter can, can participate. I, we did dancing and uh, slow dancing. I've had so much help over the years from different like teachers and different people in my life, family and stuff, but for complete strangers to actually pull something that off like this for this special need community, it's, it's, you know, it's heartwarming. It's, I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> it's incredible. They're excited. They're thrilled to be there. And to be able to deliver that amount of love to these people is incredible. I love my friends. It's all about friendship. So. My wish would be that other communities would be able to embrace this and see the success that um, this Night to Shine event has created and take it on. It's not hugely expensive. It just requires a lot of love and a lot of people to get involved and to do something truly special. Night to Shine production crew. Director Daniel Britton. Camera, Rockland Warren, Ivar Hjort. Audio, Susan Britton. Video post-production, Nova Media Production Services. Sound and music editing, Silver Fox Productions, Inc. Music, Smart Sound. Narrator, Jim Van Horn. Integrated Describe Video Specialist, M. Williams. Regional Content Specialist, Ryan Delahanty. Coordinating Producer, Jennifer Johnson. Director Production, Karen I. Director Programming, Brian Perdue. VP Programming and Production, John Melville. President and CEO, David Arrington. Produced with the participation of Canada Media Fund. Copyright 2020 Accessible Media, Inc.